Hey guys, Tivik here and welcome to episode 41 of Minecraft Season 3. And I'm actually re-recording a bit here and uh, you missed a little bit of talk and stuff because it crashed and my recording got corrupted, which kinda sucks. But let me get you up to speed to what, what I was doing. Um, first of all, um, I've installed this bookcase mod which is called Bibliocraft. It has a few other neat functions but Basically, it renders out the items as books. I made a few piston plans and transposers, stuff like that, that I will need a lot of in the future. Cool, huh? Yep. And I am in the m process of setting up a thermal pile for my sorting room in uh, my new base. So, let's head over there. And I'll show you. Okay, so, um, what I was doing was, I'm going to need a infinite water source here. I'm going to borrow this area, I hope that's okay. One there and one there gets us infinite water. Perfect. Now, lava goes in the middle here. This here sorting machine will pull out and send to this first loop, which is the ore and uh, smelting circle which will take apart everything into little pieces and send it out to the respective chests where it's supposed to go. This will be a logistic pipe system, but, here's the but, red power will do the actual processing part. This will only do the sorting. Later I will make a separate system, I think, that does crafting and uh, probably gonna make it connect to the main storage system somehow, but I want to keep this uh, crafting system a little bit separated. Anyhow, let's uh, get going on this. I want to put the thermal pile here. Well, that was my dog. Sorry for the noise. <laughs> it should be okay. I don't think it'll get through too much. Um, oh, stuck. There we go. So, I was a bit unlucky with uh, a crash earlier that uh, lost me my backpacks because I was messing around with some settings and um, I have given myself back a few things. I hope that's okay with you guys because it is with me because I don't want to spend hours and hours replacing all these things that I use on a daily basis. It will just take way too long. So according to what I understand, the thermal pile should be enough to keep a sorting machine running. But look at this, it's very, very slow. Uh, let's uh, head back to the overworld and get a bat box just to get this machine started. I've done a bit of Thormcraft research and I've planned a bit on what I'm going to be building next. I'm going to borrow that for a moment. Thank you. Why was that empty beneath? Oh yeah. There we go. I wonder, that isn't updating. Oh well. Let's see here. If I just smack this battery box right next to this machine, it should charge up nicely. And then I think once the charge is up, the thermal pile will be able to keep it going, I hope. Um, anything that it doesn't know what to do with will go into the white line. So let's uh, put back the battery box, get some white paint and put a chest on the other side. This is just for testing reasons, but it will be part of the whole sorting system later. There we go. And uh, let's see here. White paint white paint brush oh that would be an infinite loop I'm not gonna do that uh, I'll just get a normal chest I think uh, oh I did have that there we go so the goal of this episode is to get the sorting system running. I 
have pretty much all I need for it. I just need to start doing stuff with it. So I'm gonna put this white chest, well the chest will be going there. Is there a zombie down here again? Don't tell me there's one stuck in the wall. They're coming through the walls again. There's one. I was a bit lazy covering this area up. Oh. Which allowed monsters to spawn, and it's been annoying me quite some, I tell you. There we go. Um, now, if I could just get some pneumatic tubing to go here. And we paint this white. Now, anything that I put into here get pulled out and sent to the white. I think this is... there we go. And it ends up in the chest. Perfect. Now all I need to do is get a lot of different uh, items to smelt because this first sorter here is where all the smelting will be handled. Everything will come through this chest here, or actually several chests probably. I'm going to set up a series of uh, sorters and chests, because I will have multiple inputs. And it will get pulled out. And if it can get smelted, it will go to this here line. And get, well, you guessed it, smelted. Um, this here will be where I set this up. So let's go mining for a little bit, I think, because I need to pick up these different ores and stuff. So I'm gonna clean up my inventory here quite a lot, actually, and uh, then go mining. So I will see you guys in a bit, uh, once I've gathered up some materials. Alright, I set up some for the copper ore and uh, tin ore that I have. Turns out I have both the thermal expansion and the forestry ores, but that's fine. Um, lead and iron, ferrous, gold and silver, of course. Um, I thought for a moment that I would need the polarized version, but since these will send this into the relay when they output everything, the relay will paint it uh, magenta or purple, uh, that should be enough for it to send it to the smelters. So let us try. I will put in um, a copper. That got pulled out. It's colored orange, which is perfect because that's what it's supposed to be. If everything works out the way it should now, this orange should make it up into this pipe and into the first one here, which will start smelting it. Perfect. And once this is done, it will automatically output, and I won't see that now, but that will be sent out as dust, which will go into this first one here. Oh, why is there gravel in there? Okay. Let's get the sand. Oh yeah, I was experimenting with sand in these. Um, there we go, the copper is in and it's being smelted. And everything here should be given the white color and go to the white line and end up in the chest here. That is brilliant. Look at that. We have some copper ore coming along this line here, ending up in here. Copper and Copper. Perfect. I'm liking this. So, now there's one more thing we need to do because these machines won't run on their own. Um, this machine here. It has started to collect a couple of blaze rods, but it's not near as much as they will need to keep running. However, charcoal will still be the same 1.6k heat as it has been. Uh, we can make charcoal out of sugar. 
Oh yeah, this is a pretty complex process. Uh, I don't need these for the moment, so I'm going to throw them into the sorting array so that it can be smelted and handled. What I want to do here is to set up... Hmm. I understand that these steam boilers can take from nearby inventories. I'm not sure. I want to test this, so let's uh, get a chest. I'm going to get two of these. Because if they can, I know exactly what I will do. That's a chest. We'll also need some coal. Let's get ten. That's more than enough. So if this now... Yeah, it went directly into here. And it's starting to use the stuff. Hmm. In that case, we're gonna get rid of this whole red power setup and save ourselves some managers and stuff because, well, there will be better uses for these, for these blaze rods too. So let me clean this up and I am going to make this even smarter. It might not be as smart looking since red power is really smart looking, but you know what I mean. Um, you might also notice that the sky here is incredibly blue. Um, Mistcraft updated, and with that, this world was actually made unstable. I'm waiting for a fix, um, and I've been told that the fix will remove instability. However, uh, the instability I got was mining fatigue, so it's not critical, it's just very, very annoying. Believe me. Um, let's see here. There we go. Um, yeah, so... We don't want that. It's not fun at all to have mining instability. Oh. So, well, mining instability, mining fatigue. Uh, basically, it made me dig, but very slowly. Okay, so below here should be my setup with... Oh, out of power. And boom, with power again. My thermal piles should be in here, all of them. Same here, yep. I'm gonna have to clean this up off camera, I think, but uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. Um, with this setup, I will be able to uh, make... It's so that this ender chest that I pick up here will be connected to a tree farm uh, that also smelts the wood. I hope that I will be able to get it kickstarted that way so that it produces plenty of charcoal. This will be a tree farm that is dedicated to dedicated to this power setup up there. Uh, I'm thinking I should move the ones that I have. I'll move the peat bog and I'll move the tree farm over to this world because it is time to do that. The time has come to do that, yes. We need a stairs there, but that will be later. Let's uh, finish cleaning this mess up that we made. There we go. So, I'm gonna finish this, but um, yeah, I'll see how I'll do the rest. I really like these. My little turtles, well, my little computers that wait for me to switch on the power system up here. Like so. It's brilliant. Cool, huh? Okay, so that's what I'll be doing for the next couple of minutes. So see you guys in a bit. I changed my mind a bit. I've set these redstone energy cells here. I think I have more of them too. Uh, until I can get oh, I, until I can get the power system going because that's gonna take a little bit of work. Uh, we're gonna have to rely on 
charging up in uh, the overworld, charging up some of our redstone cells. Can charge them here actually. Um, let's just grab two of them. And they're charging. Not fast, but fast enough. So, all these diamond chipsets. Um, yeah, the point with that is that I can get the system started pretty soon. We will need another chassis. I don't have any iron chipsets. So let's get nine of them. And we're going to need some redstone too. Yeah, the reason for the chipsets is that I can do this and make some, oh, not diamond, redstone iron chipsets. We're getting a very variable amount of energy there. Well, that's fine. Um, just need three, really. Um, time to clean up again. I can go in there and there. We don't need those for the moment. We will need the thermal piles and the managers. However, they're not super important. There we go. I can just put the thermal piles and the managers in there. So we have them stored away. Perfect. Now this one is what I want, the quick sort module. Uh, we're gonna need to have a chest for miscellaneous items. Anything that is not handled in our system and that's probably gonna need to be a diamond chest. So let's start with that. Is there a recipe to just make a diamond chest easily? No, it isn't. So let's start out by making a copper chest. The reason for this is that I will move things to my world one step at a time. Copper chest with iron around or just silver around. No, let's do the iron one. So four glass and uh, four glass and iron. like so, the copper chest in the middle and the iron like so. We have an iron chest and this can be directly upgraded to a gold one using eight gold. That's eight gold. And the gold one can be upgraded to diamond using six glass and diamonds, two of them. There is actually one more step. Not sure if I will bother with that. Hmm. That is the obsidian one. Let's make that one. Probably going to be a pain to destroy, but I'm curious to see if it has more space. So that's 9 times 12. No, oh, it's the same, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. So, what I understand, this obsidian chest is blast resistance. <laughs> okay, well, it doesn't really matter. Um, we will also want to have a chest to serve as the buffer. 
and uh, that's going to be between the sorting system. I don't happen to have a copper chest or something. No. Oh well, another chest. We'll get the copper. Get the iron. And we get the glass. How are we for lead now? We're getting a bit, but not too much. My uh, quarry is getting to the layers where it can find lead, which is very good. I also ran my uh, other quarry a bit, just trying to get some more resources, but you know, it takes forever. An iron chest should be enough. Okay, now we're gonna need a logistics pipe. Let's make it two. Do I happen to have a chassis? I might if I look here. No, I don't think so. Oh wait, that's a logistic chassis Mark 2 and a Mark 1. The Mark 1 will be good. Um Yeah, that should do. Let's go set this up. It's gonna have to be in this here end because I want the golden pipes to go I'll put this chest here. This will be the buffer. Then all the things that go into the system can do so here. Come on. I'm gonna need some more tubes. Tube. Like so. Okay, so that's something like this. Ah, uh, come on, that's climbing. And we get that tube to go there. Now, it will be a similar setup here with the filter and everything, but uh, for now let's just hook that up. Okay. Probably want to set something up there later. Now, this will be attached with just a single Mark 1 chassis there. And in that Mark 1 chassis, we'll put the quick sort module. Now here's the thing, what happens if... I'm gonna need another more of these. Now this is connected. What happens if things does not... things will not have a... sync location. I'm gonna have to connect these as well. There. I need more logistic pipes. That isn't sorted. That's odd. It should actually have a space for that. Might not find a path. I don't know. And we will put that logistic pipe that I just ordered several off there to connect this whole system. Now, this has cobblestone and in there there is an item sink for cobblestone that should get pulled out. No? Now I'm confused. Won't the quick sort work on this? Hmm. I thought so. 
I thought it would. Because it is connected, so it should see this. Cobblestone. Hmm. Very strange indeed. Let me see if I can figure this out. One moment, guys. Alright, so this is how I did it. This here chest, as you can see by the logic pipe under, is set to the default route. We'll save up both an item sync module that I made at first as well, but also that uh, whole thing with the uh, quick sort. Basically, anything that the system cannot sort will go into here. Now, I made this one working. Let me show you. I get a bunch of cobblestone. Just one stack like this. And now let's head downstairs and I'll show you the whole system. Cobblestone into this chest here. Gets pumped out. It's immediately colored white because it doesn't know where to go. Oh, did I color this white? I didn't. Wow. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah, this would be the... Yep. And now, when it goes into here, it will get sucked out. And whoosh! It went straight into this barrel here. Which happens to be now with 65 cobblestone. Awesome! Oh, yes it is. Um, now, I am going to head back here and see... Do I happen to have a request pipe? Yes, I do. Because I want to try something out here. How many do we see? 65. 65 cobblestone. That is exactly what I wanted to test because this provider is set to leave first and last. And it should be leave one item per stack, I believe. Yep, 64. So, I need to go through these and set it to leave one item per stack. Something like this on each one of them. And now here's the thing. The providers can be made into um, Mark II using a diamond chipset. I will be going through all of these doing that for all of my things because the Mark II can provide a lot very quickly. Because I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna demonstrate the Mark II real quick here. Let me just fix these. There we go. I will now request all this. One stack. Watch how this flows out of the pipe now. That's eight stacks of eight. Okay. Now, let me just put that back into the system. And it's building up again. Perfect. Let me go here now and borrow this provider module upgrade it to Mark II and put it back. Please remember your settings. No. One item per stack. Fair enough. Okay, look at this now. One stack. One stack. You see? That's one stack at the speed of one stack. That's Perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of these because that's going to speed up and save on lag because it can pull out as much as I need and that's very important. Let me get a few more stacks. And no more of this waiting like this. Like see, eight at a time, taking forever. Okay, so let's move this into there. 
And now let's get three stacks. That's one, two, and I think three. I think it pulled three stacks at the time there. Perfect. If I just attach a chest to this one, like so, I just want to see. Oh, that's probably not a good plan. Nope. Let's put it underneath. Like so. And now a request. Three, two, four stacks. Let's see how fast they arrive. As one, two, three, four. Very quickly. You can see the reasoning for this, right? Yeah. So that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Between this and the next, I am going to set my system up a little bit so that uh, it is more or less ready to go. I'm going to move this chest as well and put it in the middle here just because I like things being centered, okay? Yeah, I know. It's a slight form of OCD, I suppose. But it looks better. And then I will start moving all my stuff over. And uh, I think that we can do that now. That would be awesome. Uh, why are you there? There we go. This pipe there will be white. Almost rhymed. An iron chest should be enough for my sorting system to handle, since I have that buffer upstairs, so yeah, should be fine. Only need that, like so, and the Mark III extractor? Wow, is there some Mark III extractor? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's the extractor, sorry. <laughs> That does exactly the same as the other one, pulling stack stacks at a time. Okay, that's all time we have, so I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.